Every summer, boys are circumcised, painted white, and isolated in remote huts where they spend weeks healing. Always there will be no ceremony before the circumcision. It comes with the speed of an ambush. Now the real danger of Tondo's initiation begins. In the coming weeks, he faces the risk of infection, even gangrene. And until he's healed, he can eat no fresh food and drink no water. The initiates must not drink water because the water comes out of the penis and makes the wound wet so it doesn't heal properly. Should infection strike, he'll have to choose between getting care and remaining true to his tribe. If he seeks medical attention, the Kosa will never accept him as a man. The white clay paint marks Tondo as an initiate. He'll wear it throughout his transition. But right now, his mind is on water, which he is forbidden to drink. Sometimes initiates face dehydration so severe it can sicken or even kill. Tondo is allowed to sustain himself with only a liquid made from corn. After a week, Tondo is well enough to drink water, and he's allowed to visit with other initiates whose huts are nearby. 